Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. I got inspiration for today's video from a gal that I follow here on YouTube. Her name is Whitney and her channel name is Whiskey and Wit. And of course, I'm gonna link that in the description box below. And I really do hope you go and check her out because she creates a lot of really cool stuff. I'm recreating three of her projects for today's video and I hope you enjoy them. DIY number one. I found these little bamboo cutting boards at the Dollar Tree. I'd seen a ton of other crafters use them in their projects, never could find them at my store. So when I did, you bet your bottom dollar I bought a few. And now I found this decal over on Whiskey and Wits blog. And of course, I'm gonna link all of that in the description box below. But it's just a super easy way to create something fun. And now I'm trying to place it onto the cutting board, not wanting it to stick till I'm ready for it to stick because some of those letters, yeah, I just, I just don't want to mess it up basically. And now I'm trying to remove the transfer tape. I'm having to be super careful because some of the letters aren't sticking to the board and I'm going to go back, press down, burnish it down some more. And I'm just using a little tool that I got from Pampered Chef. It's not what it's meant for, but that's what I have on hand. And so I'm just trying to, like I said, push those letters down so that I can pull the transfer tape back and all the letters will stick. And now that I've got that done, I decided I had it a little bit further to the left than I thought I did. And so I had this flower decal and I thought, well, let me add that to the side. I'm not sure if it really goes with the whole vibe of the sign, but that's what I'm choosing to do. And this is how it turns out. I did add some hot glue to the back to put a little piece of jute twine to act as a hanger, or you could just lean it against something. DIY number two. This is another quick and easy craft idea. I'm just taking a canvas from the Dollar Tree and a chalkboard from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna be taking out all the staples and removing the canvas and Man, they used a lot of staples in this and they really stapled them in good because it took me a bit. Now that the canvas and the staples are removed, I'm just gonna unwrap this little chalkboard and of course remove all the stickers from the back. And I have this decal, again, from Whiskey and Wit and just trying to see how it fits on the chalkboard where I need to position it, removing the transfer tape from the back of it well, removing the backing of the transfer tape, I guess. Anyway, now I'm gonna position it onto the chalkboard. This is kind of one of the nerve wracking parts for me because I don't want it to stick till I'm ready for it to stick. And if you'll notice, that's actually Socks, not Captain. Socks, Supervisor Socks has made an appearance. And now I'm just burnishing it down and gently pulling back that transfer tape I try to keep the transfer tape really close as I peel it back and I find that that helps me like the letters stay down better but I do still sometimes have letters lift so I have to go back burnish back down again and kind of help those letters stick down. So now I'm going to use some Waverly Wax in the color Antique to stain the frame and yes I'm wearing gloves. Try not to mess up that manicure. And now I'm putting it all together and I'm using E6000. I was gonna use hot glue and I probably really should have, but I thought E6000 would have been better. I don't know why, but I did. And this is how it turned out. I did go back in and add the apostrophes. They're not quite the same as the, the font that I'm using because I just used a paint pen, but I think it turned out fine. And I added a hanger to the back in case you wanted to hang it up. DIY number three. I found this sign at the Dollar Tree and I just took off the little hanger and then I was going to try to take off this heart. I'm telling you guys, I don't know, sometimes Dollar Tree really attaches the embellishments to the sign and so I got this tool, it's from the kitchen area, I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm using that to try to get under and I'm really trying hard not to damage the sign, but... <laughs> It does start to lift up and it does lift a little bit of the back of the sign. 
I wanted to create a herringbone background for my sign and so I just used popsicle sticks. I cut off the round end and then I cut them in half and I you know didn't measure them exactly so that's part of the problem but anyway trying to make them all fit it felt like it was harder than it was supposed to be but I ended up taping it together so I didn't lose that pattern. And now I'm taking Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen and giving the top of the sign a coat of white paint. I'm attaching the decal that I found on Whiskey and Wet's blog. And then I'm going to set that aside because I'm taking Waverly's Wax in the color Antique and I'm just giving it a coat and then I'll go back and brush it off, wipe it off so that it just leaves a nice dark stain. And once it's dry, it's now time to apply the decal to the sign, the back of the sign. And I just used some hot glue to attach it and I set it down. And I just, I love the herringbone pattern. I love that I stained it that, that brown color. I love the white sign, the contracts. I just love it all, y'all. And this is how it turned out. And I like how it kind of pushed me to be a little bit better crafter. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to Whitney at Whiskey and Wit for the inspiration. It was a lot of fun trying to recreate these projects. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!